It's moving day. Hey guys, I'm Matt. Um, this is probably the first official vlog on the channel. I love how the camera is just perfectly set up right on my lamp right now. It's just, it's amazing. I wish you could see it. Here's the deal. I'm doing the Disney College program in the spring advantage of 2019. Spring and summer. Crazy. Six months. I'll be there in two though. So this is mid-December about. Time goes by so fast, doesn't it? Wow. It's just been weird. Saying goodbye to friends at Mercyhurst where I go to school and it's been weird knowing that the seniors who I'm friends with now won't be here when I come back in the fall of 2019. My roommates who were seniors won't see them very much. I'm sure it's never, never gonna be goodbye, but it's not necessarily an easy task. Just see you later. But yes, it's kind of all happening. It's becoming real in a sense. Like it's been something I've dreamed of since I was eight years old. It's, it's now happening. It's crazy knowing that. And it, it's felt like a dream. It really has. It doesn't seem real at all, I'll be honest with you. I'm very nervous to begin, to be honest, and I I just can't believe it. I can't believe I was accepted on the first try. I can't believe I even applied. I had the courage to do that. I've never been away from home for so long. It's, it's weird, or far away. In Florida, you know, I live in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a good, probably, 12 hours away from Florida. So I'm excited to like get away, but it's not something that I'm happy to leave. I, I hate leaving. I hate saying goodbye. It hurts a lot for me. I hate change. That's just the person I am. Um, and I hope you kind of get to know the person I am through watching these videos. I spent all last night packing up the car to the brim. Like it is, you can't even like see through it entirely. It's probably legal in some way, shape, or form. Finals week. It was finals week. Um, you know, it's it's over like that, but it, it's not easy for sure by any means. I'm taking 18 credits of classes right now, which means six college classes entirely. So that's a lot. <laughs> I had so many final projects. I had actually two watercolor paintings. Yes, I do love fine art, that is me. I had a final essay for my philosophy class, a final in accounting, a final in business management, and there was one other thing. Oh, I had a portfolio due for my type and pub class, like my actual like portfolio of all my graphic design work, and then a website that I had to build um, for my intermediate work class. It was actually a portfolio as well for me. So I can actually link you to that website. It's nothing, nothing to write home about. Um, I had a hard time putting these together. It's hard choosing your own work, A, and B, it's hard actually building the dang thing. But I got it done uh, on time, actually a day ahead, which is not normal for me. Usually I'm working up to like the last minute on those types of assignments, uh, just because there's so much work and I have so much other stuff to do in the middle of the week rather than that. So uh, I got it done quite early, but I was working on my watercolors till the, the day of. Um, it's currently Saturday right now, so. It's, it's weird having it be over. It, I still have that like anxiety built up inside me. Um, I don't know if that's just because I'm leaving. I don't know if that's because I'm just not used to having nothing to do. Um, there's always something to do. I never have nothing to do. I've been a part of life around here for a very long time. I've been very active on campus. You know, I'm a campus tour guide or what we call ambassadors. I am a part of the Student Activities and Multicultural Activities Council. I'm the outreach coordinator for them. I do all the poster design and that sort of marketing work uh, for those events. What's that noise? Oh, I work in the marketing department here on campus. So uh, we 
have a student communications team is what we call them there, and basically I do a lot of video production work. I was making animated GIFs the last week, so fun stuff like that that I truly enjoy. It's not work to me. I love it. It's, it's great, but it's weird being an integral part of the university and then dropping out for a semester and saying, good luck without me. I don't like doing that. I'm not the type of person to just leave. It's just weird sitting in an empty apartment. They've all left already, all my roommates. Uh, all my friends have really gone home already. I'm kind of the last person here on a Saturday morning recording this, but I wanted to get it done. That way I had the, had the material to edit. Uh, I don't know when it'll be edited, so I apologize for that already. Um, if it's not out right away, it's not my fault. I, I'm i sorry, I have a lot going on, a lot to think about right now. Uh, I just know I want to do this series. I know I want to start a vlog. I know someone will ridicule me for it, but that's okay. Something that I've learned this semester is that sometimes you just have to do what you know is right and what you want. And you know what you want, but you have to go for it. And that's what matters. It's hard sometimes, more so for some than others. Sometimes the right things seem more difficult because they are right. In reality, it should feel easy to do the right thing, but it's not, it never is. What the theme of this semester truly was for me was learning how to do what's best for me learning how to prioritize myself uh, above sometimes, not always, but sometimes it's prioritizing yourself over the needs of others. I hate doing it. I don't believe in it entirely. Um, you have to find a balance because if you're not mentally healthy, how can you be helping other people? You, you can't. It's better to understand what your faults are and really work towards becoming a better person because of it. But yes, I am all packed up. The bed is empty. Uh, the sheets have been taken off. The room is hollow. I, I, you can hear the echo. It's strange. I don't like it, but I'm excited. I'm driving home today. It's gonna be a two hour car ride, about, give or take, uh, depending on you know if there's any traffic. Usually there's not. That's just life for me in general hectic mess at times, but a good one where you get a lot done. Uh, productive, for sure. So yeah, with the car packed up, I guess it's going to be time to head out soon. So I'll give you a quick tour of my apartment. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's an empty room. Let me be honest with you. I wish I would have taken a video of the room like before I packed everything up, but I realized how messy it was. Normally I'm not a messy person. Uh, it's a lot of clothes, to be honest with you. Uh, I just don't have enough hamper space or time to do laundry, for that matter. Also, uh, apologize for this weird facial hair. Uh, haven't had a whole lot of time to shave, so just be aware. Um, but room tour, right now. Well, it's, it's empty, <laughs> for sure. Uh, there's a... Vacuum and a lamp left. That's it. I gotta take that downstairs, too, but we have a pile of Well A, a shirt a wallet and a, well, a dad wallet for sure and a Phone charger. Yeah, so here was the bed. It's not actually not my bed. It was one of my roommates beds uh, It was already here, so I didn't really have to worry about lugging it home, which was nice uh, There was a ton of stuff under it though, which I had to get rid of um I had uh, plenty of closet space. Um, it was actually a lie. <laughs> I, it was a very small closet, and I have a lot of clothes, but that's okay. Um, so there was actually a little filing cabinet right here uh, with my comics in it, because yes, I am a nerd. And then over here we had the big shelf with the TV and... And instead of a lamp <laughs> and a vacuum, uh, there was a desk right there with all my stuff on it. I had a desktop computer there as well. And then there was more shelf space in the corner. And between the shelf and the desk was the fridge. So I had a lot packed into this semi-small room. 
you can't tell in the video, but there's actually a lot of space in here. Um, also, we're getting some really nice light <laughs> directly from the sun. Uh, perfect, perfect space. Let's see if we can go through this. So yes, this was the view of my of my apartment and why I have the blinds closed all the time because it's not much of a view at all. Um, but yes, so this was this was my my once filled room. The lamp was right there, right there. Bye bed. Goodbye room. Bye TV. Goodbye salt lamps that my friend was obsessed with. Goodbye chair that I always rocked back and forth with and rubbed up against the wall and my friend always yelled at me for it. Goodbye kitchen. Goodbye dishes that I was never good at really cleaning but I tried my best at. Goodbye table that I did all my art at and had to eat all that chocolate over there to keep awake at night. Goodbye basement and all my stuff that I still have yet to take home. So just so you guys can see this all, um, sorry my car's a little dirty, but this is what I mean when I say that my car is packed to the brim of stuff. Yeah, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. I found this in the middle of the driveway. And, um, it's running around for a little while. I don't really want to leave. Um, kind of bored. Uh, car's all packed. It's time to head out. Bye, apartment. I'm gonna miss you. Dear Mercy Hurst, I miss you more than you'll ever know. Although it's a lot sunnier in Florida, being away has made me really miss you a lot, even the cold. Your campus is unmatched in its beauty during every single season of the year, even the winter. In all honesty, I just miss everything about it. I miss the people most of all, because those people have helped me become the person that I truly am today. I don't know where I'd be without them. And it's professors, it's friends, and they've both become a family to me. I miss just walking around, being able to see the sights after a long day of work, and being able to just take it all in, being able to relax after I've been so stressed out about the world in general. I miss being able to go five minutes across the campus and be right where I need to be. I've had experiences that I would have never been able to witness anywhere else. Goodbye, Mercy Hearst. I'll see you soon. Mercy Hearst is just home to me. It's where I learned who I was and became the person that I am today. People say Hearst is home, but they don't really mean it. They don't really understand that feeling until they're gone from it. Being there taught me my potential and it's helped me to realize my dreams as a reality, not just as some made up thing. I truly never thought I would miss being there as much as I do now. I miss the friends most of all. So there is absolutely no one on campus right now, it seems. I was just walking around, kind of taking everything in one last time. And this bell, uh, it was dedicated to Sister Damien, who was a huge sports fan. Uh, and she always rung her cowbell at sporting events. So to commemorate her, we have a bell here so that if a team wins, they can ring it. Or if you have an individual achievement, you have the opportunity to ring it. And I think that what I have done thus far um, in my academic work and by getting accepted into this college program, I think it's time that I actually ring the bell for once.
So, yeah, good, goodbye Mercyhurst. I'm gonna miss you a lot, but I'll be back in the fall. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, please do consider subscribing or watching these other recommended videos for you. If you want more content from me, please do consider following me on TikTok and Instagram. Thank you so much for the support and take care my friends.